I'm so happy I was filming that. Was that honk for me? Because I don't work there anymore. Hello. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new I understand if you're new because I haven't been active on here in a very long time But since I haven't been active for a very long time and I also want to start posting on YouTube again I might as well do like a QA and a because every time I post I always get questions And I don't think it's fair to start posting unless answer questions first It's kind of like a get back into it. Let's catch up type of situation. So I'm gonna do that. I need to go feed my cats. I'm at my parents right now and I'm hungry because I ate at 10 and it is now 2.50. It's almost 3. So I should get going. But yeah, let's get this started. I forgot the lighting would be going like this. I have a mustache now. I'm sorry the lighting sucks. No, it's too dark. Also, I put lights in the background because I like to hang out in my car <laughs> with friends and stuff. I used to have like white fairy lights, but I got these ones that change colors. See, look, it's purple, and now it's orange, and then now it's a teal blue, and now it's red, and now we're back to purple. But anyways, so that's why I have lights in my car. I figured since I'm doing a car vlog, might as well make it festive. Okay, anyways, I feel like the lighting is better now. So we're gonna start this for real. I asked on Instagram what you guys wanted to know. First of all, I wanna say thank you to those of you who didn't have a question, but just wanted to say that you were happy I was back and that you missed me. I wanna start off by saying I miss you guys too because um, honestly, one of my favorite parts, oh my gosh. One of my favorite things about filming and making YouTube videos was the comments. Like that made everything worth it, I think. I also recognize a lot of you guys. Some of you guys still have the same profile pictures from like two plus years ago. And I remember them on your YouTube channel and on Instagram. Also, not a question, but it said, I legit manifested your comeback. That made me laugh. <laughs> Thank you for manifesting my comeback. Um, I needed the extra boost. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the first official question. Uh, this was the second most asked question, and it was, where have you been? Why'd you stop making videos, and why so long? Basically, I got 20 of those in that category. Basically, like I was designing for Taco Bell. A lot of you guys know that already. I'm making videos, but then I started doing Tahitian dance, and usually I would, you know, like, do my nine to five at Taco Bell, and then I would go home and edit videos and put them out and even though that was like a lot of work because I was working and then I'd go home and do more work like my own personal work but it's still like editing it takes a long time so it's kind of like work it was a lot and then I started doing Tahitian dance and that was only two times a week but then I started going to drum too and then I started taking the other classes like when I advanced so I was there for like four to six days out of the week and I was just like really tired it was just very time consuming sorry the light sucks again but yeah anyways it was just very time consuming and I honestly did not have time to do YouTube and then Tahitian dance at the same time which sucks because I wanted to do YouTube but I literally just didn't have any time anymore and I was spreading myself too thin so between work Tahitian dance and like hanging out with friends like having personal time honestly didn't have time it all just came down to time honestly I've been gone for so long I was thinking about just making a whole new channel because I love making videos but also like what if my videos aren't as good as before like a lot of people will say that they like the aesthetic of my videos I honestly want to spend less time editing my videos and putting them out I, I don't have like a team like a lot of youtubers have it's just me filming and then editing and I'm a perfectionist so the editing takes forever I want to focus on like trying not to make that take an eternity because sometimes it take me 8 to 20 hours to edit a video <sighs> So anyways, yeah, I, I was just like evaluating and kind of scared to come back and then I didn't want to go back because of Honestly, I just wanted to start completely over because like numbers aren't a thing to me I couldn't really start completely over because I couldn't get this name back on my URL Anyways, I just wanted to start over Didn't really want to continue with this channel again just in case I came back and would disappoint people But yeah, that's why it took so long basically just life, but I just I wasn't ready yet to dedicate my time to this but now I am and I'm excited and now we are here in the car filming a Q&A car vlog 
Also, someone asked, how has this break from YouTube helped your mental health? Honestly, it didn't. <laughs> um, you know, when I was working at Taco Bell and then making videos, it, when I would take uh, a few weeks break, it helped so much because I was just spreading myself too thin. But then after a while, if I didn't post, you know that feeling when you go to a party or you're hanging out with friends but you have homework still? It felt like that. So like it helped at first because it was like, oh, I'm taking a break. I'm doing this for myself. Was that honk for me? I'm scared. Anyways, did I know that person? No. I'm not saying that YouTube is like homework, but it's kind of like, you know, you have this thing that you know you want to do or need to do, but you're not doing it. So it was kind of like a stress not doing YouTube. If that makes sense, and then it made it really hard to get back into it, yada yada yada. So I feel like a week or two or three or even a month break is good to take sometimes like if you really need to focus on yourself and mental health and like your friendships and relationships and stuff i feel like yeah take a break but this was so long it's not even a break anymore i just i was just gone <laughs> so it didn't really help my mental health it helps in little doses but not when you're for, gone for this long anyways moving on to the second question we're not really you know what I'm gonna get Starbucks. I don't know why I pulled into here. Okay, we are putting you down here while I order because I don't wanna look like a crazy person. Yeah. Also, if you're wondering where this sweatshirt is from, I really freaking like it a lot. Um, I got this from Shein. I know it's a cheap website, but I mean like if you're balling on a budget, Shein. I'll leave it linked below. I think it's freaking adorable. Anyways, I asked you guys too what I should get from Starbucks. And I don't drink coffee and a lot of them were coffee answers. Um, he, somebody said hot chocolate. So I'm gonna get my hot chocolate as usual. I usually get the strawberry acai lemonade blended. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But you know what? It's close to Christmas time. So we're gonna get a hot freaking chocolate. What? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're all good to go. What? Thank you. That's never happened before. I'm so happy I was filming that. Thank you to whoever paid for this drink. My day is made. Okay, we're back. But yeah, also, I'm running out of batteries already, and we're only on question two. So I'm gonna change out the battery, hold on. <sighs> Off to a great start. All right, so after all of that, <laughs> I'm back in my car. I spent some time at my parents, and I charged the battery, and then I also got my charger, and I'm plugging it in in the back right now, charging the second battery, in case this one dies on me again. But anyways, it turns out it's, it's better now because the sun isn't out. The sun is going down in like 10 minutes. And now you can see my lights better. So everything worked out just fine. Okay, so the second question of the day and the most asked question was, how are you, how have you been, and what are new things going on in your life? And um, basically, I'm okay. I mean, in terms of COVID and everything going on, it's like, I am doing all right. I feel like I didn't handle things properly. If you're my friend and you're watching this, you know that I absolutely suck at texting. Like I'm just the absolute worst at texting. But at least during COVID, um, we were seeing each other. Like we were all hanging out in person together. So everything was fine. I mean, the texting still sucked, but now I don't see anybody because of COVID. Every once in a while I hang out and do stuff. But then also like now I don't text people. Like I, I was always bad at texting people, but now I don't see people. And then also I suck at texting. So I also have not been talking to a lot of people like normal. So that's not good. <laughs> right now I feel like I have the right mindset for things. I feel motivated for the first time in a long time to actually do stuff, which is why I'm making this video. I have recently been reaching out to friends that I know our good friends also during quarantine I don't know I was like purging myself of people who were not there like I had one friend who like refused to respond to anything I said but anyways 
I am doing good. I'm doing better, refocusing my mind. I am also going to be focusing on like my friends that I've had for like 10 plus years. Also friends that I've met recently that have proven to be great friends. Anyways, I'm doing all right. Refocusing my mind. We are here now. I got a free hot chocolate, so everything is good. The next question. This is mostly about my cats. People asked about my family. I got questions like, how's work? How's life? Family, Tuna and Co. And I got a few more people asking about tunes. Um, basically, she's good. And then I adopted two kittens that were brothers and sisters just to keep her company. I was only supposed to adopt one, but I fell in love with both. So then I adopted both. So she has friends now to keep her company. Should probably find a place to park. You can dim these too, by the way. Yeah, that's better. Okay, the next question that was a very popular one was, do you still do graphic design work at Taco Bell? And the answer to that is no. <laughs> I haven't worked at Taco Bell corporate in like over a year. Honestly, I loved it there and I love the people. Also, I wanna say hi to Vivian and Pete because when I asked uh, this question, they saw Vivian and Pete. I miss you guys too. I really liked working with you guys. And Pete, I was thinking about you the other day because of resin and I was like, oh yeah, Pete and his resin. And I was, I'm like excited that you had a baby and everything, Vivian. Like I can't even imagine you pregnant. I wish I'd seen that. But uh, I don't work at Taco Bell anymore doing design work. I was sent to work at home even before COVID. I had a little taste of COVID before everybody else. <laughs> okay, we keep running out of batteries, so hold on. Okay, I had to park because I was running out of batteries again. You know what? I will just turn my car off and chill here. So anyways, I don't work there anymore. Um, people ask what I do for work now. Uh, I have been freelancing, but that sucked after COVID because a lot of my projects that I was working on, I had to be there in person to shoot, you know, like pictures and videos. And then also like a lot of the projects I was working on, <laughs> it was like for events for this year. And obviously those events aren't happening anymore. They were supposed to be for big festivals um, and COVID hit. So they're like, yeah, we'll hit you up later once COVID's done. And I'm like, Cool. I thought it was funny like COVID birthdays and graduations and stuff like editing videos for that So I was doing freelance and then I picked up just for funsies a part-time that had nothing to do with design and honestly It was great. It was fantastic. It was super easy. Didn't have to think about anything Oh my lord. It, w it was just so easy like you know if you design or do anything creative It's so fun But also sometimes you need a mental break because it does take a lot of brain power and just like thinking all the time I was like wow, I'm just doing the most mundane tasks and I'm getting paid So <laughs> I was doing my projects and then I picked up a part-time and honestly that part-time because it had nothing to do with creativity It kind of inspired me to get back into this because <laughs> even though it was easy super easy easy money it was just like yeah but I like creativity too so here we are not working at Taco Bell but figuring things out and that's life my battery keeps dying and I have to keep changing out the batteries so I'm gonna just hold this because it takes too long to put on and off the tripod but the next question is are you gonna be doing vlogmas slash are you posting this Christmas and the answer is yes I'm very excited I made those vlogmas elements like the countdown like where the gifts opening and stuff at the beginning of every day like two or three years ago and I was so excited about it because I love Christmas Christmas is my favorite time but I only used it one year and after that I just stopped vlogging whoever manifested my comeback please manifest me doing like like Christmas videos and vlogmas please because I need all the help I can get anyways on to the next question hopefully this answers it once and for all if it's not already obvious are you and Leo still together no we are not we've been broken up since end of 2018 it's almost been two years now why do we break up not that he's a bad person uh, I think we just had different love languages but in the end like I just knew it wasn't right I don't want to get too into it because I don't want anyone to think poorly of him he he was very nice he treated me well we just weren't good for each other the next question is will you back to regular uploads are you ever coming back to your main channel will you vlog again will you ever go back to doing the daily vlogs again the answer to that 
is all yes. Um, again, whoever manifested my comeback, please help me. <laughs> but no, I my goal is to be back on YouTube and back to doing vlogs. I loved doing vlogs probably more than the main channel just because I liked to look back on my life and I was like, oh, what I do this week? And it was fun to just like relive those memories and it's a good way to capture like how life was, especially when you're pulling out the camera every single day. Also, I'm thinking about making two new channels. Uh, probably in the new year maybe end of this year I'm gonna see how I can manage my time those other ones shouldn't take long because the one idea I have for it I'm gonna have to spend time on it anyway so I'm just film it and there's not gonna really be any editing at all because it doesn't need it the second channel I just need to set up something nice and then I don't have to edit it just minor editing so main channel vlog channel maybe two other channels <laughs> I'm excited and then someone asked if I'm still doing daily vlogs even if I'm not posting them on YouTube not really I'm still filming something every day so that I could do my one second a day but I haven't been posting it anywhere then I got another question asking about my living situation like where I'm living now living update and like did I have I moved or am I still at the studio I moved I am no longer I'm so sorry I'm having trouble focusing on myself right now hello but anyways yeah I moved I moved in March so like right before during quarantine or during quarantine like right when it happened I moved out of that studio and I moved into a house that's in my family name but nobody lives there right now it's a mess so it's a project cleaning it up which is part of the reason why I'm filming in my car because I don't have a place that's quiet and all mine that I can just like film in so the car has to do right now we're gonna make it work I also got a question saying recent favorite makeup products. I don't know if I have a new favorite makeup product, but something that I discovered during quarantine was uh, this lash serum. I will link it down below. I don't know if you could tell. My lashes are super long. Okay, these are my lashes. Do you see how long they are? I was doing my one second a day and I saw how short they were after my lash extensions. Like, I think they were always that short. They were very, very short lashes, which is one of the reasons why I got lash extensions is because my lashes were so short. And then uh, I found this serum on Amazon. Again, I will link it down below because I swear by it. I had other people buy it too and they got good results also. It made my lashes like extremely long. They're as long as they were when I first got like the normal natural looking classic. Classic lash extensions so if you want to grow your lashes just like buy them because i highly recommend them somebody asked when and why did you get your nose pierced i always wanted my nose pierced i got it pierced in september for my birthday and i never had like the courage to do it but then at the time we both had birthdays around the same time and we decided for our birthdays we would get piercings so it was for birthdays and because i always wanted to do it um let's see the next question is which car do you own and you should do a car tour i own a jeep grand cherokee limited and i spent so much time trying to track down this car because i really wanted one with beige interior and this sunroof like panoramic sunroof and that took so long like this literally came from mississippi <laughs> place that had it in the u.s was mississippi not even joking that had everything i wanted and at a good price so yeah and I was planning on doing a car tour so I think I am because I really like how I organize my car and I know you guys like organization videos so I will do that the next one is how'd you grow your hair so fast your hair so long now and it's so different I like it um thank you I grew it fast by not cutting it and then it seems fast because I haven't seen y'all in like two years <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't have a hair care routine. Someone else asked that. I just shampoo and condition it. I don't wash it every single day and I should probably use like heat protectant, but I don't. Yeah. Okay, somebody asked me if I play video games. I don't play video games, but I have been playing Pokemon Go a lot. I used to just catch Pokemon in Pokemon Go. I didn't know there's so much you could do, like raids and like leaving your Pokemon in gyms to get coins and like battling people. So I've been doing a lot of Pokemon Go lately. That's the only type of video game I play. Someone else also asked me if I play Among Us and what I play with my viewers. I've tried playing Among Us. I really don't get it. I'm told to do tasks and I can't complete the tasks in time because somebody dies. But I don't know who because there's so many people in there and I just like, how are you supposed to discuss it? I don't get it. I really don't get it. If someone wants to explain it to me, please do because everybody's like super pumped about that game right now. But I just, I really don't understand it at all. I wish I did. 
fight. I just don't. Somebody else asked or didn't ask. They just said, show us an updated how I organize my phone slash laptop. I really want to do that because again, I really like doing organization videos. Battery died again. I'm going to be doing a Christmas video that has to do with that. I was 14 home screen, uh, for Christmas edition and stuff on Etsy. I've been working on stuff for Etsy. Uh, I have one thing on Etsy right now if you want to purchase it. It's like a daily planner. You can just print it out. But now I'm doing like digital goods right now for the home screen and I don't know. I'm excited about it. But yeah, I will definitely do a phone video and a laptop video and stuff like that. And then the last question, how did you grow your following? I feel like this is important. Just do it because you like it. People can tell when you're doing it just because you want to get followers. I know people who've been trying and trying and trying. Just be yourself. Actually enjoy what you're doing. Make stuff that's unique to you and people will follow you because you're being yourself. Just make stuff that you like and that's all that matters. Anyways, I am going to wrap this up right now because you don't know how many times I've switched between these two batteries and I've been charging them. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you to everybody who submitted a question or just a comment. I'm really happy to be back and I hope you guys enjoyed this even though it was kind of a mess. Uh, let me know if you like car vlogs. Maybe I'll do more question and answers in car vlogs but just make sure to like actually charge my battery this time. At least my lights look nicer now. I'll leave a link to my lights down below too if you want them. They're from Amazon. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and I will see you back on YouTube and on my vlog channel and everything. Bye. Mwah.